Hey guys, it's your girl Imani Simone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So as you can see by the title, I'm going to be using two gels for this wash and go. So right now I'm just spraying my hair down with some hot water and then I'm going to work that in. Now I'm working on hair that already has leave-in applied, but I am going to go in with a bit more just to make sure my hair is moisturized enough for two gels. And this is what I'm going to be using, the TGIN Green Tea Leave-In Conditioner. And I'm just gonna work that in, especially at my ends. All right, so now it's time for mystery gel number one, Wetline Extreme. Comment down below if you had an idea that this is one of the gels I was gonna use. So I used about that much and I'm just gonna work that in. Now I'm gonna say right now, you guys are gonna see me struggle a little bit with this section. Number one, it's because I am still learning how to do wash and goes and trying to figure out the right product to water ratio. And it's the fact that this is one of the kinkier sections of my hair, so it takes a little more work to try to define the hair. for mystery gel number two style factor edge booster and the pineapple scent and as you can see i love the smell so i'm going to take about that much to start off with and work that in again and you're going to see me struggle for a little bit more You can see here, I was like, okay, maybe if I shingle it, it'll, it'll come out decent. But as you can see, it was just frizzy. And honestly, I think that was because my hair was not properly detangled. So that's why I came out like that. But I was as happy as I was going to be with that section. So now I'm just going to fast forward through this section a little bit. This section right here is with just the wet line alone. Now, as you can see, this section was giving me more of a better turnout. And now I'm adding the style factor here. Look at that. Now here I'm just trying to attempt to put in a deep side part as you can see it's really raggedy but that doesn't matter we're just gonna move on so now i'm just gonna go ahead and skip through the rest of this side of my hair this is what we are looking like right now so now i'm just gonna show you this part of my hair really quickly and then I'm gonna speed through the rest of my hair.
as you can see this section gave me a little bit more promise but it still took a little more work again because this is a more kinkier part of my hair and right here i think i was just going back in with the wet line to define it even more So this is what it looks like right now. I'm just going to give you a little close up. So now I'm just going to sit under the dryer and come back with the final results. All right, guys, this is the final look after stretching it overnight and then banding it and then trying to pick some of it out as you can see it's still pretty small like i probably could have picked it out more but it's day one so this is fine scratch that this needed way more picking but in my defense it looks better when i'm looking in the mirror than it does actually sitting in front of the camera i'm actually going to show you right now what it looks like in the mirror with my phone back camera <laughs> So as you can see, it's way more fuller. For some reason, when I sit in front of the camera, my hair looks way more compact and smaller than it does if I'm looking in the mirror. So yes, I just wanted to show you guys what my hair looks like, what it really looked like. And by the way, this was day three hair. Um, I don't seem to have any flakes. So that is a plus that means this tjn leave-in plus these two gels must go together pretty well now i think i knew already that the gels themselves were going to go well together because i'm pretty sure i've seen people do that multiple times so that wasn't really an issue but i don't think i've ever seen anyone pair it with the super moist green tea leave-in so as we can see it looks like it's fine now i do still have a very um decent crunch i think that's from the style factor i think i probably used way too much next time i'll probably just go in with that gel and see how well that works by itself because it seems like a more heavy duty type of gel so i probably didn't even really need the wet line if anything the the style factor would help the wet line so i feel like i could use the style factor by itself but yes this is what we are looking like Just give you guys a close up. And like I said, I did pick it out, but I don't know. Obviously, as the days go on, it'll get bigger. So that's why I'm just going to leave it alone for right now. I, there's really no point in like super manipulating it. So I'm not gonna. All right, guys. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to leave it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more and I'll see you guys in the next one.